should I ask you? Um, what's your name? My name is Kathleen Boring. <laughs> and uh, how many kids do you have? It's five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's five. Um, where did you grow up? I grew up in Takada, Japan. What's Takada like? Takada is very hot in the summer. It's near the sea, but still very hot. And um, a lot of, uh, I guess, moisture, so. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a sort of hot heat that really makes you feel hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's no air conditioning in those days. No. <laughs> but I don't think we worried about such things as the heat. No? What did you do when it was hot? <laughs> well, we were kids, so we just kept on doing what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kids sometimes aren't always thinking. Um, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday? Oh, it must be Christmas. Why is it Christmas? Well, I guess it's most more excitement and more people around than any other time of the year. That's true. Is there a Christmas um, that stands out to you from your childhood? I think Christmas was always something that I looked forward to and loved remembering afterwards. In those days, we had a real tree and little candles, real candles. Mm -hmm. They got put on the night before, all set, and then in the morning, they were lit. And then they were put up very quickly <laughs> after mm -hmm. we'd had a good look at the tree and then everything else went on after that. Do you remember any Christmas presents you used to get? I expect they were mostly useful things like slippers and mittens and <laughs> hats and <laughs> scarves. Yeah, were they usually handmade? Of course. Mm -hmm. My mother was a good knitter. And, yeah. Yeah. between a rowboat and its dock. You will begin to see the plants and flowers of your youth. And they will look as new to you as they did back then. Little lavender bouquets arranged in solar systems, delicate beyond your comprehension. The dark gold buttons with the purple manes, the swan white throat splashed with radish-colored flecks thread-like stalks that end in asterisks. They are where you left them, by the bus stop bench, along the chain-link fence behind the widow's house. And you shall squat down on your heels and gaze at them, just as you did before, because this restitution of your heart is coming. fear the indignities of death and growing old. The synagogue of Weedhead will be your evidence that every moment is not trampled by the march of all the rest.
doesn't matter if you end up isolated and alone, pulling the trigger of the morphine feed repeatedly. It doesn't matter if you die, whimpering into the railing of the hospital bed, refusing to see visitors, smelling your own body in the dawn. The dark ending does not cancel out the brightness of the middle. Your day of greatest joy cannot be dimmed by any shame. Favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> garden. Um, what's growing in your garden right now? Many little, little, small flowers. <laughs> like what? Well, now let me look around and see what do I have here. You were really excited when the snowdrops. Oh yes. Yeah. I love the snowdrops. They're so early. I know. And do you know that every little snowdrop has a drop of, of heat in its little bulb, just enough to make it able to push through the frozen ground. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's absolutely... <laughs> <laughs>